Cord is a bond of love and understanding. Cord encourages the process of sharing, which enriches both the giver and the receiver. Sidbari, a small village in Himachal Pradesh. In 1985, with Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda's blessings and with Dr. Shama Maitre's initiative, an outreach program was started here to help the Pahari community. This was the beginning of Cord, the Chinmaya Organization for Rural Development. Since lack of healthcare services was the main concern, the work initially centered around health issues. Today, the holistic model developed at Sidbari provides inspiration and resource support to other Cord centers, Tamri Pakkam and Siruvani in Tamil Nadu, Deoldiha and Latikata in Odisha and Kaza in Andhra Pradesh. In all programs initiated by CORD, women are the most prominent participants. The Mahila Mandal provides avenues to share information on health and agriculture, legal, social and political matters, and on schemes for economic betterment. Schemes specially designed for the low-income groups. Through self-help groups, they learn about the importance of savings. Women from poorer sections of society can seek loan and subsidy from the government to start small income generation activities. These activities enhance their traditional skills and also introduce them to new production techniques. Coming together has reaffirmed their faith in themselves and opened new vistas to negotiate with the world. Motivated by the progress of women, the youth are also getting organized. Some groups are experimenting with new methods to improve their farm produce. Lack of proper roads cause problems during critical times. So the youth are coming forward to build roads which can connect their villages to the main center. The Village Knowledge Center is another initiative managed by young volunteers. Here, children learn about basic functions of computers. It's uh, starting only, it's not ending. We will teach for every poor villages, village peoples. As a part of capacity building program, certificate courses in tailoring are offered. Here, girls also learn to repair their sewing machines. Incense sticks and candle making are some other courses offered. Girls learn these skills and form their own production units. CORD tries to involve young facilitators when organizing activities with children. Children enjoy the company of their young teachers and respond enthusiastically to any new activity. In the world, I at tuition classes, children also get an opportunity to nurture their talents. Participating in awareness programs, they learn to think critically about social issues. The National Child Labour Project, NCLP, is a unique education project run exclusively for children who worked as labourers. Chinmay Vijaya is an orphanage which upholds the cause of the girl child. Set up in 2007 by Dr. Sumati and Dr. Appara Mukamala, CORD provides the resource support for this initiative. Girls from diverse religious backgrounds are welcome here.
by providing emotional support, educational and professional training. This home is laying a strong foundation for their happy and secure future. In rural India, inaccessibility to primary health care services is the main factor responsible for the high mortality rate. Along with community-based clinics, CORD organizes health camps in remote areas. Besides offering curative services, the health units also emphasize on the importance of preventive measures to enhance total well-being. Campaigns are organized to popularize improved sanitation programs. Kord Sidbari has been conducting special programs for the rehabilitation of the disabled. The interactions at the clinic sow seeds of hope and provide a fresh perspective to life. Cord mobilizes communities to initiate constructive programs by generating discussions on government schemes and on their rights and responsibilities. Through educative sessions on the local self-government institutions, the significance of people's participation in governance is explained. Motivated by these inputs, some women actively represent their demands at the panchayat level. Communities are also getting acquainted with new techniques to harness natural resources. Some centers are adopting the Chauka system to conserve precious rainwater and topsoil. Systematic Rice Intensification Program, SRI, is another productive method introduced to the farmers. The Community Livelihood Action Plan is promoting cultivation of Sadabahar saplings. Farmers are now exporting these saplings to a pharmaceutical company. Sadabahar, the ever-blooming flower which nourishes and rejuvenates body and mind. This flower aptly symbolizes God's vision and work. Cord is a bond of love and understanding. Cord encourages a process of sharing which enriches both the giver and the receiver. <laughs> The journey has begun. There have been some rewarding moments. Our journey continues till we reach the last village. Come, walk with us.